Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to look now in our series on blend modes at the overlay blend mode, which is the first in the series on contrast, as we'll see. So as a reminder, the blend modes work that there's a base layer underneath, another layer on top, the blend layer. You've got a formula in which, in this case, it is overlay, which results in what you actually see. The darken group we've looked at, the lighting group we looked at, so now we're looking at what's called the contrast group. And this the overlay is the first of these. And in fact overlay makes use of these down here. It's a combination of the multiply from the darken group and the screen from the lighting group. So overall calculation for it is broadly that if base is 0 .0, less than 0 0.5, in other words if it's darker then you do a multiply, which makes it darker still. So it's darkening darks. Uh, otherwise, if the base is greater than 0 0.5, in other words, it's lighter, then you use a screen calculation, which lightens lights. So in other words, it's dark and darks, light and lights, and using multiply and screen. So let's have a look at this in practice. So here we've got a picture. Then what we'll do is we'll put a layer, new fill layer above it. And we'll change that to an overlay blend mode. And we'll look at that from here and we can change that fill layer. So when it's light, the layer above now is light. It's lightening up the picture quite significantly. And as I pull it down, as it gets darker, it's going back until I get to the 50% mark here. Then if I turn that layer off, you can see it's making no difference. So in other words, when there's grey above it, then the grey is effectively transparent. And then when I get darker again, it starts to darken the picture. So in other words, above it, darks darken and lights lighten. That's the basis of the way that overlay works. Let's go back to the this and just a quick summary of about it, what it's about. So overall it increases uh, contrast, darks, dark and lights lighten, and it's also the first of the set. So there are other ways of creating contrast. But this is one which is used a great deal because screen and uh, multiply are, are nice because they don't burn out the whites or flatten out the blacks. So those are good things. So it's an, it's a nice way of doing it. And the gray, as we saw, was is invisible in the top layer. And in terms of its effect, um, the two others, which are quite like it, are soft light and hard light. And by and large, the soft light has a gentler effect. The hard light, unsurprisingly, has a stronger effect. Typical uses here is increasing the contrast. You can do a quick improvement. We'll see that in the a subsequent video, we'll look at tinting, blending and adjustments, use a great deal and you can even use it for things like sharpening. So there we go, that's a summary of the overall, overall overlay blend mode and um, we'll uh, see more in the subsequent videos. Thank you very much for watching.